Tiana. And I'm Cerise. And this month, we are celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month is observed in the United States during the month of May and recognizes the contributions and influence of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the United States. SOSA's Filipino Student Union presents their AAPI HM video, including Asian American students talking about their culture and experiences. What is your full name and ethnicity? Hi, my name is Francesca Isabel Vallega Duarte, and I'm a Filipina who was born and raised in America. Hello, I am Songwoo Khan, and I am South Korean. Uh, my name is Kevin Wu, and I am Chinese. My name is Tiffany Lee, and I am South Korean. Uh, my name is Philip Nguyen. Uh, I'm Vietnamese. Hi, my name is Sienna Yu, and I'm Korean American. Hello, my name is Jason Pimentel and I am Filipino, specifically from Tarlac City, Philippines. What's your favorite aspect of your culture? Why? My favorite aspect of my culture would definitely have to be the importance of family. My favorite aspect about Filipino culture would definitely be family and how Filipinos celebrate. Growing up, it was always important that I treat my elders with respect and to make sure I'm always looking out for my loved ones. Uh, my favorite part about my culture is the colors because red and gold are cool and the food because I like Chinese food, especially Panda Express. Um, my favorite aspect about my culture is probably the food. Um, <laughs> Filipino food is top tier. My favorite aspect about my culture would definitely be the food because it's really good. My favorite aspect of my culture would definitely be the food. I, of course, also love our food. Um, my favorite dishes would probably have to be kaibi or tteokbokki. My favorite thing about Vietnamese culture is their food. My favorite foods are pho, spring rolls, bansel, and, and bumgeo. I also love how our entertainment, specifically K-drama and K-pop, have become popular in the U.S. and it's so inspiring to see how our culture could impact so many other people. But honestly speaking, my favorite aspect about my culture is definitely the ability to connect with other people who's part of my culture. Whether it be parties or holidays, Filipinos just know how to do it, right? I think that Filipinos are able to connect just so well. Like whenever you hear someone else is Filipino, it's like you have this immediate bond or connection with them. When you're at a gathering in a Filipino household, you're always well fed, there's always food. It's not just desserts or anything like that. It's like main course, appetizer, anything, desserts. And it's always fun. You're, you never feel like you're awkward. There's always someone you can talk to. There's always somehow like someone your age that you can bond with. Like you just gained a new ate or a new kuya or a new tito or tita. It's people singing, it's loud, it could get very loud at times, but I enjoy every moment of it. Um, Filipinos really know how to celebrate and enjoy life and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's, it's like Filipinos are just one big happy family. <laughs> um, have you ever experienced racism or discrimination? I have experienced racism in the past, relatively recently too, actually. I have, yes. Uh, when I was younger, yes, not as much anymore. Yes, I've definitely experienced some racism and discrimination in my life. Yes, I have experienced racism. As a Korean American, I have experienced racism as a lot of other minorities have. Would you like to share your experience? The thing is, um, I don't know when it started, but I experienced it the most when I was in middle school, um, but that's when I didn't really understand what was going on or what it really was, and I just didn't really realize that I experienced racism until afterwards. A moment where I first learned about racism was back in second grade. Um, I just recently moved to Ohio from the Philippines. I didn't know the culture or the language that well but i think early on racist jokes towards asians became very normalized and so 
whenever someone was racist towards me or made a racist joke to me, I saw it as a joke. And so I was told, oh, it's just a joke. And so when I did try to communicate to other kids around me, I would get made fun of. And at the time, I thought they were, I was laughing with them because I would laugh too. I never thought much of it. And so looking back at it now, it's like, oh, that was racist. <laughs> but now that I look back at it, they were definitely laughing at me. And um, yeah, that's just really sad to see. I think I could have made a difference before if I just knew how harmful and how hurtful it actually was. I mean, at the time it definitely hurt, but because it was just a joke, I wasn't allowed to say anything about it. Do you wish you weren't Asian? No, I don't. No. Do I wish I wasn't Asian? No, I like being Korean and I wouldn't want to change that. I am proud to be Asian, but it is sad that we don't treat each other the way that we'd want to be treated. No, I don't. But there have been times where I wish I wasn't Asian. I've definitely had moments and times when I didn't want to be Filipino. And one of those moments where it would probably be when like, um, I used to often get stereotyped as being smart or being like achieving high academics because I was Asian, because Asians are all so smart. That's the stereotype. I had times when I felt like such an outsider, like I would bring Filipino, to, uh, Filipino food to school sometimes when I was a kid and they're like, ew, that's gross. And it's like, or it, ew, that smells weird. And I'm like, it hurt. I felt like such an outsider and I didn't want to be Filipino in the moment. With that stereotype, you just have so much pressure to um, over-deliver academically. And, um, and that's definitely a time where I wish I wasn't Asian, where I could just be a normal kid. But um, as I'm getting older and learning more about my culture and about where I came from and just learning more about you know the Philippines and Filipinos, I have never been so happy and so proud to be Filipino. Um, just knowing um, the history of the Philippines and my people, it's like we've gone through so much and I'm so proud that we've persevered. Um, especially lately, I think a lot of Filipinos have been having such a breakthrough um, we've been having so much representation lately, and I just feel so happy and proud to be Filipino. Um, when we won uh, our first gold medal in the Olympics with weightlifting, with streamers and influencers like Bella Porch, Bretman Brock, Valkyrie, um, Olivia Rodrigo, also Miss Universe. We won Miss Universe a couple times. It's like seeing those achievements made me so happy and so proud to just see Filipinos striving and I'm definitely happy to be a Filipino now. How do you think we should tackle racism and discrimination? How do I think we should tackle racism and discrimination? With open arms and open mind. I think we should tackle racism by first teaching what it is and what it looks like because lots of students or people um, are discriminated against or experience racism but they just don't know it sometimes um, because racism isn't always explicit sometimes it can be in the littlest things and I think it's important to be able to identify that and know that it's wrong to end racism it needs to be taught in schools um, I think education at a younger age while we're teaching like history and math and basic English we can also we can also teach about culture and have cultural events so people become more knowledgeable about such things. Racism is really hard to tackle without teaching the future, which are the kids, what is right or wrong. So along with learning English or math or science, they should also be having a class where they are taught what is morally right or wrong 
because they might not have those figures in their life that are swaying them in the right direction of what is right or wrong, which includes um, racism. Um, growing up in the melting pot of America, um, I've learned that we're all humans, we're all equal, and we should all be able to treat each other with respect. I think that what we can do to tackle racism and discrimination is to first educate ourselves about what is racist and what is harmful towards um, Asian Americans, um, Pacific Islanders, and spreading awareness about it. Um, also, when you see something that um, when you see like a racist um, thing happening, whenever you see racism or discrimination, just speak out about it. Um, don't be silent. I have so much regret looking back and just staying silent whenever someone was racist towards me. Also, looking back, hoping that someone would help me in those moments. Because, like I said, it was just a joke and I wasn't allowed to say anything about it. But now that I'm older and I know better, and all of you guys, I think that we can all make a difference and start anew. And I think that we can definitely start making our world a safer environment for everyone. You know, not just Asian Americans, not just Pacific Islanders, but everyone. Whenever you see something, speak out about it. Happy Asian American. Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Happy Asian American 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 Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Heritage Month. Thank you. Bye-bye.